Hey guys, Penny here from Monaco Nail Academy and I wanted to show you a new nail art technique, well it's not new but like maybe new to you, a new nail art technique for you to use to make the most of how popular Taylor Swift's new video is at the moment. So um, something that you can do when something is going crazy on social media or in the media is use nail art that will, hi Moana, um, use nail art that you can hashtag and sort of like dedicate to those pages or topics that are going crazy. So the thing that's going crazy at the moment is Taylor Swift's new video, Look What You Made Me Do. And if you haven't seen it yet, there are two versions. There's a lyric version and also um, like a super fancy version. And it's breaking records all over the place. So the hashtag, Look What You Made Me Do, and also the initials, L-Y, I don't know, you know, the initials for look what you made me do um, as a hashtag and also tagging in Taylor's pages. That will get you a lot more reach with what you're doing online and so I wanted to show you a couple of designs you can do. So there is a scene in the fancy video where she is wearing a dress look that looks like that with um, snakes serving her tea. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do a really quick snakeskin nail that you could pair up with some of the other looks from the video. There's a lot of bling in this video. There's a lot of um, like there's a biker scene. There's all sorts that you can do with this particular video. Um, so this is just a quick idea. Hi Janelle. Um, this is just a quick idea of something that you can do. So this first nail that I did before I came on live has a background of the color talk it from the new fast and furious um collection from color gloss and i used this pigment melodrama from be creatives it's all about the drama collection to do the pattern for this nail i used she's a spark plug which is also from um sorry fueled and furious and the detail is done with mischief is my middle name now on this nail, which I'm gonna do for you, I have used a base of Heartbreaker. So Heartbreaker is also from Fueled and Furious. It's um it's going great guns in with my clients at the moment. And instead of using the same pigment, I'm going to use two others from the same collection, Love Story, which is a little bit lighter, and then it's a tragedy which is actually a dark green so it won't show up heaps but it'll give us some depth instead of just using the one pigment okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pigments ready um, and you'll see why in a second so that is um, it's a tragedy and then this is love story I'm going to use my be creative purple brush which is what I pretty much just um, Moana, can you lift the swatch up? Can't see the color. Do you mean this? This? Hopefully it'll stay in focus. I'm filming a little bit differently today. So um, this one, which is Talk It, is a dark green, but of course you can't really see it too much now under the pigment. Heartbreaker is a brown base, so it's a really dark reddish brown color, not a black. Um, okay, so I've got, if, if that wasn't what you wanted to see, just say, and I'll um, show you. And so uh, with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some chul. So this is actually, it's not that it matters, but it's the berry colored chul, the, the pink one from the berry chul collection that we sell. Um, and like heaps of people think that chul is only for embedding because it comes um, colored, but I just chose this one at random, um, and I'm going to use it to get our snake skin effect. Now this is a little bit trickier on a swatch than it is on a person. It's actually a lot easier on a person, but I'm going to take my chul and wrap it around my swatch, and then if you were on a person, like you know that you're holding their finger underneath, right? So you just keep doing that, but you're holding the chul at the same time. And so that's why it's a little bit trickier on a swatch because I don't have as much control over holding it. Hi, Andrea. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab my purple brush and I'm going to dip into Love Story first. I'm going to dip just in and then press out on the lid because I actually don't want a lot of product. And then I'm going to lightly pat over 
the chawl. So I don't want the chawl to move while I'm passing, which is why I'm pulling it back quite tight. And I don't want to, um, like I don't want to overload because that will mean that some of the pigment might go like under where the chawl is. So hopefully you can see it's kind of not perfect. There's a very loud plane going over my house, um, but not perfect in the sense that we want it to be. There's gaps. Then I'm going to take this other one, which is It's a Tragedy, and I don't need to clean my brush in between. I'm going to go straight into It's a Tragedy and then again tap off into the lid and then kind of fill the gaps. And it's just, it's very much a straight up and down kind of dab. I don't want to be sort of working and working and working, and especially I don't want to be working on an angle because that's going to nudge the pigment in under the chawl. So it's very much straight up and down. Try and get right to the edges, which is much easier on a person than it is on a swatch, so you won't have any issues. And then when you are happy that everything is covered, then on a person, you want to peel from one side to the other. Um, and Moana just said you could use lace too, which you absolutely could. It might not, it might be an extra special snake, um, but you could definitely use lace for this sort of technique. So on a person, you want to be able to peel it from one side to the other, and on a swatch that's a little bit trickier, it just means that you might get some smudging. But if you cleanly peel it off, you have a really cool snake skin print. So this one was done with just one pigment. This one we've just done with two. So you get a totally different effect. And you can also see, I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna post a photo of this afterwards, but you can see the difference in the color underneath as well. Um, and what you could do if you wanted to really just do, hey Jesse, if you wanted to do some really cool like tailor themed nails that um, without having like all different ones, then you could then paint over the tip with this red sort of design so that you had snakeskin in the back and then this red overlaid. And that would also give you definitely a tailor themed nail um, without having like crazy different uh, like nails on like designs on each nail you know what I mean um, and the only thing to remember with this one is if you have been a little bit like um, I didn't use a lot of pigment because I was dipping into the lid but if you're worried that you have then before you top coat you want to get a fan brush and just take away any dust so that you don't spread it with your top coat and then because it's such a small amount of pigment you don't have to worry about correction gel or anything like that you go straight in with, I'm using Artistics Glossing Gel, and then cure for 30 seconds. So hopefully you guys can see how cool that is. I'll post a photo as well, because I don't think this does it justice. Um, and all of the products that I've used for this design are available on monocopro.co.nz. So there was the purple brush. I have used the colors Talk It, She's a spark plug and Heartbreaker, all from the Fueled and Furious collection. I also used Mischief is my middle name. And then from the It's All About the Drama collection from Be Creative, I used Melodrama, It's a Tragedy, and Love Story. And I also used some Chul, which just happened to be from the Berry, Berry collection. There's other colors that you can get. All of it's from monocopro.co.nz. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I'll post a really clear photo of these in just a minute. See you later.